back in Istanbul after two years. I'm here for about two days and we're taking the bus from the airport to Taksim and it's five euros per person. I still have some lira from my last trip so there's gonna be two vlogs in Istanbul. Good morning from Istanbul. You can't really see it. I arrived last night. I'm gonna be here the whole day. Oh, I was supposed to get here yesterday around like 4 p.m. 5 4 5 p.m. but my flight got so delayed I got to the airport at 7 p.m. and it was 8 p.m. by the time I got to the hotel so I lost half a day the reason why I'm here is because of David Garrett he's my favorite violinist and he has a concert here he never comes to America so we decided to do a little trip to Istanbul I've been here before this time I'm staying at the Taksim square literally by across this building really good location i'm gonna go eat something i'm gonna do some shopping uh shopping looking for leather jackets the best leather jackets are here last time i think we took like five each me and my mom five each but i want to get like spiked one because the leather is so soft and it's such a good price shoes is not something i would recommend i mean i don't know maybe um i've tried on a shoe once and it was very uncomfortable but maybe if you find like a good leather store i don't know but leather jackets this is taksim kami in taksim square my hotel is right behind me so it was a perfect location i'll do a hotel review in a separate video but first thing is to find food and usually a dollar is like 30 30 some lira so as you can see everything is pretty cheap i ordered a kebab and a chai the chai was 25 lira so less than a dollar uh, i thought they would give me like grilled uh, bell peppers with it but it's okay it was about six dollars super delicious so good for a quick meal and then i went to look for leather jackets and honestly i was disappointed everything was either the same as two years ago or just like really old styles forever got treats hello oh there's more go get more it's cold, but it's not extremely cold. Like it's not snowing yet. Heading to the Grand Bazaar. If you come to Istanbul, you have to visit the Grand Bazaar, but we're gonna get into a little bit about the shopping part. The Grand Bazaar was commissioned in 1455 by Sultan Mahmed the second and he wanted it to be the training center for the ottoman empire the bazaar lays on a whooping nearly thirty-one thousand square feet of land like it is massive it's like a whole city it's insane it's so easy to get lost and there is an indoor and an outdoor area which i'm gonna get into a little bit in a bit but with 61 streets and at least 4,000 shops, nearly 100 million people visit the bazaar each year. That's calculated to about 250,000 to 400,000 per day. And I don't think this calculation includes the employees, which there are a lot. Sometimes I'm even surprised why there's so many people working in one shop when... Uh, no one's buying anything to be honest but in the 16th century the market was destroyed by an earthquake but restored in 1894 it took a long time to restore it so the grand bazaar to be honest it's kind of like a tourist trap i mean it is great and if you don't want to waste your time finding the best shops for the best deals you just want to quickly shop come here sure why not but i don't think locals shop here because they know that everything here is extremely overpriced everything at the bazaar costs at least double than outside in istanbul like in the city or different cities probably most likely um but it's it's a lot of like jewelry and accessories and stuff and a lot of spice and candy stores like this one on the right now also a lot of fake knockoff design stuff design stuff bags shoes clothes um i don't recommend i don't support that uh but 
if you willing to risk getting caught <laughs> at the airport then um that's totally up to you but it is available here and it's probably gonna be higher quality than outside now like i said there's two parts there's this inside part and there's an outside part which you kind of saw in the beginning uh, enough of the grand bazaar i think i'm gonna do like a separate video just walking in the bazaar but i might have like an older one anyways let's go find some food because it's time to eat something i've learned in my first time here if people are yelling at you to come in their food is not that great if they're not yelling at you they don't care if you come in because somebody else will probably local because they know that their food is good so we went into this place that was not calling anybody it was kind of like a hidden jam super cheap everything is super cheap and the food was fantastic and this was literally a hidden jam i mean look at this architecture this is inside the restaurant and you saw how it looked like outside it looked like just a regular market also earlier i picked up some chestnuts which you're gonna see everywhere and to be honest they were kind of dry and just kind of plain here it is look at this oh my god this is called pide and it comes with different fillings this one is a meat beef meat filling with some tomatoes it, it's one of the things you have to try if you are in turkey it is so good and it's so cheap it's like a flatbread with the meat and it's so juicy and we also ordered a pastry with some meat in it that was okay and this fresh fish so good here are some to-go options honestly one of the most delicious things in turkey and the sole of my boot broke when i was feeding the cat so i had to buy a new boots and they're leather look how beautiful this is so we're on the way to a concert and i'm gonna put pieces of the concert in so youtube doesn't take it down okay i think we're here where the concert's gonna be i'm just trying to figure out where to go so just checked in. They took my GoPro. And I wasn't even like planning to film it because it's not mm. that great at night. Mm. And then some other guy came over because he got his GoPro too. His and then teeth. they're like, okay, <laughs> we, we're not kicking them out. Put it in security. I was a little worried about the sound being not good because it's an open stadium. But it was, it was fine. It was amazing, actually. I actually didn't have the um, good luck finding leather jackets. So instead I bought boots. One boot. boot. A boot. Um, also, tip uh, before ordering an Uber. Take a screenshot so you see the price that you're supposed to pay. Because one of our Uber rides was supposed to be like 96 liras. But then uh, the receipt was 426. So now I have to deal with this on vacation. Scam. Scam. You could, there's no amount of money you can pay me to drive in Istanbul. But the, he was crazy because all other fast drivers were good. Yeah, but this one, the scammer and crazy, <laughs> just crazy, okay, like not normal. <laughs> Backstage, not knowing what to put on for the show, so I kind of decided to have one outfit for the whole year for stage. But there are different pieces, so it's. <laughs>
The concert's over. He played Summer by Vivaldi, which is my all-time favorite. And then at the end, he also played Bella Ciao. Oh, he started with slow and then went into like more speedy jams. It was all the iconic classical musics. He answered some funny questions. He said that he ever, if he ever needs a hair transplant, he'll come to Istanbul, but he hopes that he'll never need it. Um, find you someone who looks at you the way I look at David Guerra. Hafiz Mustafa is another place you must come. Some of the best baklavas are here. And I honestly, I whenever I'm in Istanbul, I come here every day, even if it's just for one or two baklava. But today I want to try this specialty one. And we're also going to try a cake because I'm giving it a shot, but it's not super great. So I was right the last time. Last time I did not order a cake because... Hmm, it's it's not that great so instead i ordered a kunafe i mean i've had this that's a that's a baklava but i've had the kunafe in uh, los angeles and it was so good so i wanted to try it here and it was absolutely delicious that white thing is like kind of like ice cream first you pour the syrup on top and then the pistachio and it's so good it's like cheesy and gooey and that was it for day one here is a, the taksim again with the night prayer